Thai basil is a plant that is super easy to grow and it is just wonderful to have it growing in a pot all winter long so that you can enjoy this wonderful seasoning whenever you want it. I have a very large plant here that died over the winter. It got infested with these tiny mites that make a, almost like a tiny spider web. And it's a lot of trouble to try to keep them under control. So I just moved the plant into another room and let it die because I have so much of the seasoning, the leaves that I've dried from prior years in abundance. And recently it came time to start growing some of my plants for the upcoming spring. The sign for me is seeing the buds starting to open on my fig trees. So I pulled out this plant from its hiding and spread out a sheet so that I can gather some seeds from it. It's easy to start a new plant simply by taking a fresh cutting from a market or a grocery store that may have fresh cuttings for sale and just put it in water and wait for it to root. It will take a few weeks or even a month or more, but eventually if you take care of it, it'll make roots and then you can start a plant. But once you've done that, this is what you do to start making your own from seed. So I'm going to take some of these branches and just snap them off because it's quite dead. And so they just break. All of these flowers contain seeds. So if I just shake it, we might get a few or not, but all we have to do is just run your thumb and finger, just pinch. And there you go. All of these little black dots are seeds. So if you want to collect the seeds specifically, then just sort of run these little florets through your fingers and the seeds will drop out. And then you can just clean it up and gather the seeds themselves. But I planted some a few days ago and all I did was take these and I just did this right onto the pot and I didn't even clean it up. And look at how they've grown in just a few days. So when I collect the seeds, I just do as I'm doing right here and gather some of these, snap them off like this, and then just run them all onto the sheet like this. And then when I'm finished them all, I'll just gather up the sheet and then dump them all into a jar. And then I've got enough. I've already gathered enough here from those two stalks for hundreds of plants. And so there's no shortage. And as you can see, there are still some leaves here that are good for eating. I'm actually going to make some pad thai for supper as soon as I finish shooting this video. So I'm going to use these leaves for the seasoning in my pad thai, which of course is one of the greatest dishes in the world. So there you go, it's really easy, not only to harvest these seeds, but as I showed you already, how quickly they will grow into new plants. I'm going to do one more. 
just so we have thousands of seeds. And what an aroma. It's the it's the pad thai <laughs> calling to me. There's something about the smell of Thai basil that just makes me want to have pad thai. And there's countless Thai basil plants right here. Look at the seeds. There are so many seeds here. Lots and lots of seeds. It smells like black licorice now. It's so pungent when there's such a concentration like this that it just, it's overwhelming. It smells like black licorice. So there you go. Super easy.